I think if you want to come to the races in Hong Kong, you have to prepare for a major excitement. You have to prepare for what the city stand for. Competitive, entertaining, world-class, successful. Fast, it's so short, sharp, explosive, fast city, fast pace of life here. Every jockey, I reckon, if you gave them an opportunity to ride and compete in Hong Kong, they'd be here at the drop of a hat. It's such a dominant part of what Hong Kong represents. It is part of our DNA, and it's been exciting for decades and decades, and it will be exciting for decades to come. This is the Chinese Year of the Horse, and in Hong Kong, they're celebrating in their own unique way. Over the course of the 2013 to 14 season, nearly two million people have attended race meetings here. At the city's two courses, Happy Valley and Sha Tin, a day or night at the races is a busy, boisterous and nail-biting affair. William Nader is the Hong Kong Jockey Club's director of racing. Well, horse racing has a long history in Hong Kong, dating back to the 1800s, and in many ways it's the only game in town. Unlike other uh, parts of the world, such as Europe and North America, in Hong Kong, horse racing is it. I mean, in terms of sustainability over the course of a year, week in and week out, horse racing has an ongoing presence. It's popular, tourists come to Hong Kong, it's what they want to do. And really, uh, as far as other sports go, uh, rugby sevens, one off, marathon, one off. There's nothing that's really there to compete with horse racing. And it's just such a dominant part of the Hong Kong landscape. The final international event on the Hong Kong racing calendar comes in the form of the Champions Mile. 14 horses from around the world will face off in the Group 1 turf race at the Sha Tin track. Australian Zach Purton is currently leading the jockey's premiership standings. The big race performer goes into the showpiece event on one of the top-rated European entries, three-time Grade 1 winner Gordon Lord Byron. Crowds here are very big. They love their racing. You know, you see them around the parade ring prior to every race. They've all got their little form guide and they're all hanging over the fence and, you know, it's it's quite different because for a population of over only 7 million people, the whole city knows about racing. You can get in a taxi and they've all got a form guide. You can go to any hotel or restaurant, they're always wanting to know how your rides are looking on the weekend or congratulate you on winners you've had previously. And uh, in Hong Kong, it's all about the racing and you know, it's, it's our major sport and everyone gets involved. John Moore has trained the last four Champions Mile winners and fields two entries for the 2014 edition, including reigning champ Dan Excel. But rival trainer Richard Gibson has the more fancied horse. His five-year-old Irish gelding Gold Fun is amongst the pre-race favourites. 13-time champion jockey Douglas White is on board. White won over the same trip in last year's Hong Kong Classic Mile. Well, in Hong Kong, you've got to adapt to the conditions. You know, the climate's tough. The training conditions are more uh, confined than they would be in Europe. You know, the, these horses don't, don't have any, eat any grass. They don't go out into any paddocks. They just train on, on one track. We've, we've got no hills, so it's very different. So the good horse has to adapt. Since arriving in this special administrative region of China in 2011, joining an elite band of 24 trainers licensed to work in Hong Kong, Gibson has saddled almost 100 winners, and this season alone has won prize money approaching 50 million Hong Kong dollars for his owners. After a career which has taken him to France, Australia and the USA, the Englishman is well placed to assess his current station. The whole objective of, of the Hong Kong Jockey Club is to, you know, their objective is to get the top horses, they want to get the top trainers, and they want to get the top jockeys. Uh, they're, now getting the top, they're now getting the top horses in the world. We've, we've got two horses from Hong Kong competing in the World Cup. Uh, they've got a fantastic array of, of leading trainers who have su su already succeeded very highly in their country of origin. And of course now, you know, we've got a fantastic team of jockeys. You know, the, the top five jockeys were, have been champion in their own country of origin. 
So it's, um, it's great working with these um, top professionals daily. Hong Kong Racing's most successful trainer of all time is John Moore. The 64-year-old Australian began working here as an assistant to his father back in 1971. Well, since um, October 71, Hong Kong Racing has really changed in the sense it's become so much more professional. So you could say now Hong Kong is looked upon as um, with envy. It uh, both the quality, the technology involved, the facilities for members and everything is second to none. So um, right up until now, um, everybody wants to come and uh, be a part of Hong Kong racing. Going into the 2014 mile, two-time South African Horse of the Year Variety Club leads a select band of five overseas challengers in the field of 14. No horse has ever won the Champions Mile after starting outside of Gate 9, but the Mike de Kock trained Chestnut Stallion hopes to change that record and breaks well from stall number 12. Racing in green silks with yellow stars, jockey Anton Marcus guides Variety Club to the front, where he's happy to sit off the race's early leader, Helen Spirit, in red. Elsewhere, John Moore's best prospect, Abel Friend, has it all to do after being handed the widest draw possible, and he struggles to make an impression on the pack. With the field going at a steady pace, Zach Purton's ride Gordon, Lord Byron, has also suffered a difficult start, and the number seven is rarely a threat on his third outing in Hong Kong. But Variety Club makes light work of the damp conditions. Anton Marcus kicks on, taking his charge from second into the lead as they come down the home straight. The five-year-old stallion opens up a commanding lead and has more than enough in the tank to hold off a late surge from Abel Friend, crossing the line four lengths ahead of his nearest challenger. The result means that for the first time in the race's history, an overseas horse emerges victorious in the Hong Kong Champions Mile. Variety Club has now won in three different countries and qualifies for the world-famous Breeders' Cup Mile. It's a career highlight for South African Anton Marcus, who delivers a 12 million Hong Kong dollar payday to owner Marcus Joost.